Lesson 2.4, Partial Quotients to Divide by Two-Digit Divisors. We have a few videos linked in the description if you missed them. The strategy Partial Quotients is one of several ways we can solve large division problems. We begin by subtracting multiples of the divisor from the dividend. We keep subtracting smaller multiples of the divisor until the remaining number is less than the divisor, or zero. The easiest partial quotients to use are usually multiples of 10. We add all the multiples to find the full quotient. So here we have 714 divided by 21. We use a multiple of the divisor. 21 times 10 is 210. We subtract it from the dividend, we get 504. We subtract another 210, we get 294. We subtract another 210, we get 84. And 21 times 4 is 84. We subtract that and get a 0. We add our partial quotients of 10, 10, 10, and 4. We get a quotient of 34 remainder 0. We need to subtract a reasonable amount from the dividend. If our multiple is too great, we can't subtract. If we use 21 times 100, that's 2,100. That's too big to subtract from the 714. It would have been better if we used 21 times 10. We can use any multiple of the divisor as long as the product is a reasonable amount to be subtracted. So here, we're using 20. 21, the divisor, times 20. That would be 420. We subtract it from the 714, we get 294. Now we use 21 times 5. That's 105. We subtract it, we get 189. We use another multiple of 5. We subtract another 105. Now we have 84. And we try 21 times 2, which is 42. We subtract it and get a 42. And we can do another 21 times 2. We subtract it and we get a 0. We add all of these up, 20 plus 5 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2, and we get 34. These are our partial quotients, and our full quotient is 34, remainder 0. Our quotient is two digits, we write it above the dividend. So the ones place lines up and the tens place lines up. When we add the partial quotients, we get the total number of groups of the divisor that can be divided into the dividend. Here we have 952 divided by 35. 35 times 10 is 350. We subtract it, we get 602. We do another 35 times 10, so we subtract another 350. We get 252. We can't subtract another one because it's too great to subtract from 252. We can try 35 times 5, which is 175. We subtract it and get a 77. And we can subtract another 35 times 2, and we get a 7 for our remainder. So we can use the pattern of zeros to quickly multiply by 10, 100, or 1,000. We learned back that back in video 1.1, which is linked in the description if you missed it. We add our partial quotients, 10, 10, 5, and 2, and our full quotient is 27 with a remainder of 7. We write it in the correct place above the dividend. We line up the 1s and the 10s. And we can multiply on the side to check our math. When we got to 35 times 5, we can multiply on the side and get the correct product to be able to subtract. We need to make sure to write the quotient's digits in the correct place. We have two digits for our quotient. We need to write it with the 7 in the 1's place above the 2 that's in the 1's place and then the 2 in the tens place above the 5 that's in the tens place. 
Tala is going to read the City of Ember series of books. If Tala reads 24 pages each day, how many days will it take her to finish all four books? So we can see City of Ember has 270 pages, and The People of Sparks has 338 pages, The Prophet of Yonwood has 289 pages, and The Diamond of Darkhold has 285 pages. We can find the total pages of the four books, then divide it by 24 pages she reads each day. We add up all the pages of the four books and get 1,182 pages. If she reads 24 pages each day, we divide 1,182 by 24. We can divide with any multiple of the divisor. We can do 24 times 40. That would be 960, and we subtract that from the dividend. We get 222. We can't do 24 times 10 because that would be 240. That would be too great. So we try 24 times 5. That would be 120. We subtract it and get 102. Then we can subtract a 24 times 4, which is 96, and we see that we have a remainder of 6. That would be 6 pages left. We add the 40, the 5, and the 4. That would be 49 days but she would still have six pages left. Our quotient is 49 remainder six. It will take Tala 49 days to read 24 pages each day with six pages remaining. This means it would take her 50 days to read all the pages, reading only six pages on the 50th day. We increase the quotient by one because there was a remainder. 49 days of 24 pages each day, and then one day of six pages would be 50 days. She would read the entire series of four books. Now, she could finish the books in 49 days if she reads the 24 pages plus the six pages remaining on that 49th day, on the last day. But generally, we increase the quotient by one if she only reads 24 pages each day. Here we have 4,084 divided by 76. We do 76 times 10, which is 760. We subtract it from the dividend and get 3,324. We do it again, subtract another 760, we get 2,564. We do it again, subtract another 760, we get 1,804, and again, Subtracting 760, we get 1,044, and we can still do it again. Subtracting 760, we get 284. Now we need to use a smaller multiple because we don't have enough to take away 760. We can try 76 times 3, that's 228, and we get 56 left over. We can't fit another 76 in here. We add all of our multiples is 53, and we have a remainder, remainder of 56. A remainder can be greater than the quotient, but it can't be greater than the divisor. We learned that in the last video, 2.3, which is linked in the description. And our remainder is less than our divisor, so our remainder makes sense. If six students read a total of 216 pages of City of Ember in two days, how many pages did each student read in one day? So it's very important to look at what it's asking. It's asking how many pages each student can read in one day. So we think we can find 216 divided by six to find how many pages each student can read in two days. Then we can divide by 2 to find how many pages for one day. We have 216 divided by 6. We can try 6 times 30. That would be 180. We subtract it and get 36. And we think, well, 6 times 6 is 36. We could subtract that and get a zero remainder. We add the 30 and the 6. That would be 
36 pages in two days for each student. We can divide this by 2, 36 divided by 2. We can do 2 times 10, which is a 20. We subtract and get 16, and we think, well, 2 times 8 is 16. We subtract it, get a 0. We add our partial quotients, and that's 18 pages for each student for one day. Now, I don't always show the next lessons. I may tell you at the end of the video what the very next lesson is. But the reason I'm showing this is because when we get to 2.6, we're only at 2.4 right now. So this is the next video, estimate with, estimate with two-digit divisors. Then 2.6 is when we're going to actually do long division by two-digit divisors. Then we're going to talk about what we can do with the remainder. The remainder can be a numerator of a fraction. Then we're going to talk about adjusting a quotient if our estimate is too high or low. And then we're going to do some word problems. And of course, remember, we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep our place values in their correct column. We can use it for addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So our next lesson is 2.5. I'm going to talk about how we can use compatible numbers to estimate quotients. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope I see you next time. Bye.